I think these are exciting times in medical education. Uh, previously in the past, uh, teachers thought they could be taught teachers just because they were good doctors. It's now recognized that medical education requires special attitudes, requires a special passion for teaching, special enthusiasm, and an ability to teach. Uh, I think many of these skills one sees very much here at Clyde Un University and Medical School. Uh, I've been tremendously impressed with the project we heard this morning from the students, for example. And one of the developments in medical education has been much more student engagement. We have got an Amy the Aspire initiative, Aspire to Excellence in Medical Education. And one of the areas where excellence is recognized is in terms of student engagement. And I think we saw a very good example of that in the student presentation this morning. So I think there is this great excitement about medical education. There's recognized a professionalism in medical education. We should be proud to be medical teachers. Uh, what is a good medical teacher is often discussed. Uh, I think there's a move away from thinking the teacher is simply an expert. Uh, and again, we talked about that yesterday, to, uh, away from just being an expert to being someone who facilitates learning. So I think the good teacher is a facilitator of learning who helps the students learn, who has a passion for their subject and who has also a passion for the students to learn. If the students don't learn, it's not that these are bad students, it's they're bad teachers. So it's not bad students, it's bad teachers. So we have a responsibility. And one of the developments in medical education has been this move to outcome-based education, where we specify what is the product of the education, what are the learning outcomes we're expecting. And again, we've heard some good examples presented of what is a good doctor. It isn't just someone who's knowledgeable, but who's got the right techniques, but who's compassionate, who's got the right attitudes. I think it's excellent what we're looking for in a, in, in a good teacher. And I think part of this excellence in a good teacher is right also in what is a good doctor. It's their passion and approach to the subject. I, I think many of these developments we've heard about in medical education are really international. One struck what we're talking on, the, what's on the agenda here at this meeting is really very similar to what you hear talked about elsewhere in different parts of the world. Uh, at the Amy meeting, uh, at the Amy meeting, we had 3,500 participants from Brazil from over 100 different countries, and they were very much interested in what was happening uh, in medical education around the world. So I think it's, uh, these ideas are shared, and I think one of the developments in medical education is sharing these concepts in medical education with others around the world. It's interesting at the Amy meeting, uh, we're looking at next year's meeting, and who presented, who's offered papers to be presented at the meeting. And we found that more than half of the papers, almost three quarters of the papers, are from authors from different world parts of the world. So I think collaboration in medical education, just as collaboration in medicine, is of the, of the greatest importance. So I think we're going to hear much more of collaboration. I think the university and medical here are congratulated for bringing together people from different parts, different disciplines, to talk about it and to share their views. And I think we'll hear much more about that in, in the future. So I think these are exciting times in medical education. There's new technologies, there's new educational thinking, the new demands on the doctor which we have to respond to. The patients are looking for different things. Uh, these are different times financially as well. And I think we can be much more creative in how we approach our medical education. We shouldn't just be thinking inside the box. We need to be imaginative, having new ideas. One of the criticisms in medicine has been that we've been much too conservative in education. There have been many dramatic changes in medical practice, uh, but th these have not been mirrored so much in education. So I think the future will see education being in regarded as increasingly important 
And I think we'll see some of these dramatic changes that we've seen in medicine also happening in medical education. And meetings such as this, I think, will stimulate the changes. Thank you.